How's it going, guys? Today we're going from this to this. Also known as full Newton tutorial, we're going to use only stock FL Studio plugin and I'm going to show you everything behind it so you can make amazing sounding vocals for your own tracks. It's not a secret that you don't have to sing well to get into the top charts and here's how you do it. Make sure your vocal is consolidated into one clip, click on the small way from here and pitch correct sample. Now Newton shows up and this plugin kind of imitates Melodyne, which is an industry standard, very, very well established plugin. And this one is completely for free in trial version, of course. The navigation here is exactly the same as in every window in FL Studio. With Alt and scroll, you can extend the view here and with Control and scroll, you can zoom out vertically. Now here's how our vocal looks like if we were to put it like a MIDI on instrument. First thing you will notice that every word practically is chopped up and you can change the pitch of it. And right from the start, the most important part of the whole plugin are here three knobs on the top. You'll be using them practically every time you open Newton. You can see those orange rectangles next to a word. I, 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 I'm in the day I arrive. And now for some of them, Newton thinks that the shadow here is where the note's supposed to be. And now that's why you'll usually put the notes to the center of the note that Newton thinks they should go. And obviously most of the time it will be the right note that the singer was trying to hit basically. 99% of the times I put all the way up because it doesn't change the tone too much. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a mess of the day I arrived. It doesn't sound robotic at all. It sounds pretty much exactly the same as without it. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a mess of the day I arrived. You won't hear too much difference unless we play the track under it. So we have some reference. And to play the track, we're going to mark our whole clip. Go here, make sure you have detached the new tone and enslave slave playback to host. Anyway, we're going to turn it on and right click and ignore host selection. That's very important. And now we're going to go to our playlist, mute our original vocal and hit play. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a mess of the day I arrived. I never play if I troop in the lies. You wanna win me, go over your rights. He will that way, if you play your song, you will hear the new tone over it. For example, here now we'll see. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a mess of the day I Without center now. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a mess of the day I and with Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy I've been a mess of the day I arrive Definitely sounds as it's kind of supposed to sound, right? And now variation knob will make it sound a lot more like autotune and that's why a simple autotune plugin will not be capable of doing what, for example, Newton can, but Newton will be able to do what autotune can. For professional productions, you usually use autotune for live recording, so artist hears himself in the headphones with an autotune and then you get into Newton or different kind of plugin to pitch correct the sample as you would want it to. The orange line here represents what's the actual pitch of the sample basically, and the rectangle is just like the average of it. So with the variation, we actually bring it into the notes that Newton thought it should be like. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a mess of the guy. I've been a mess of the guy. I've been a I usually find myself going to about nine o'clock. It's just a perfect sweet spot if you want to make kind of autotune plugin, but without making it 100% robotic like. And now transition knob is when you want to go really, really crazy and robotic. If we turn down the variation, you'll be able to hear that. See that this is our transition between two notes. And if we take it down, it will basically put them like a robot from one note to the other. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a mess guy. I so it slides kind of, right? I never play with the transition knob here, only in specific case where the transition actually works like a charm. So version about nine to 10 o'clock. And now you can see. Some of the notes are here very, very long. And that's why artists kept, of course, the same pitch throughout this part. So however, he says kind of two words here. And I would like only the lie to be in here on this note and the previous part I would like to be a little bit higher. We do it by choosing C on our keyboard or clicking this guy right here and making a cut like this. It will stick to grid or we can use Alt key on our keyboard to chop it like this. And now if we take it back again, we can change this part of the word. If you want to loop something, you can simply mark it here. I want to take it up, maybe this one before it as well, maybe here. 
but you wanna lie. So we chopped it up to make one part of the word a little bit higher, like this. But you wanna lie. However, let's keep it as it was before. That's some fine tuning, but we are in a hurry and we want to go fast and easy. That's where there's a beautiful function. You go to the rock, paper, scissors here and snap to scale. And now you can choose the scale. And the hardest part here is just to know what scale you're in. If you want me to make a full tutorial on how to find scales by ear, let me know in the comments. I'll sign here D sharp major, and if you're unsure what scale you're in, you can play with those. And now everything will stick to the notes of the scale. And as in many singing parts of your vocals, such as in house ADM, it will most of the time hit it right, and you basically will be able to just center everything, turn the variation down maybe a little bit, and stick everything to scale, and you're practically good to go. In this case, as you have some trap vocals that would need a little bit more creative touch, I would say, we'll need to definitely adjust that. So let's play and hear what's up. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a mess from the day I arrived. I never play, I find truth in the lies. You wanna win me, go over your right. So all the time we are hitting pretty much everything above where we should be. So we can control A everything and mm -hmm. turn it down. Let's see what happens. Lean in the pack and you know I'm the guy. I've been a mess of the day I arrived. I never play if I'm true for the lies. You wanna win me, go over your rights. Here with a mission, here in the scene. Much better already. You can see that we can definitely work with that. If you cannot make it work with scale, just unstick it and just take some time to fine tune the vocals. Control A them and find proper raw settings, I would say, and then just fine tweak them by hand. Now here we would need to definitely check up. Lean in the pack and you know I'm the guy. I've been a mess of the day I arrived. At this point, it's just like a creative work and hearing what fits your needs. I never play if I For example, this can go up like this. I never play if I'm true for the lies. I never play if I'm true for the lies. You want the lies. You want to win me, go over your right. We can put those a little bit higher. The lies. You want to win me, go over your want to win me, go over your right. You want to win me, go over your right. Do you wanna win me go over your right? In this kind of music, the simpler you go, the catchier you get, so we can do stuff like this definitely. Over your right, here with a mission we definitely need to fix this kind of stuff. Right, here with a mission, you here in the scene. We here in the scene, I go when I blow the this take up as well. I go when I blow, they say they knew me. Watch definitely for the briefs, aux and ax to not make them weird and digital sounding. I usually leave them without any tweaks. I go when I blow, they say they knew me. We're keeping the hook like this. As a routine. If you're looking for some word, it's pretty handy to take your marker and just slowly go through the timeline. You can put those guys up. This is the sound that I made with the the routine this is the sound that i made with the team this is the sound that i made with the team and now that's basic navigation and knowledge about newton we can get into a little bit more advanced settings here by literally hitting advanced edit if you zoom in with control alt and scroll here we'll be able to change variation volume and pretty much everything for individual notes and that's very very handy because in this part i would like to keep it a little bit less wobbly so i take down the variation like this maybe here as well so it's a little bit too much. So here it's perfect. Here was a little bit too much. Let's hear it. This is the sound that I made with the team. This is the sound that I sound that I made with the Sounds a little bit weird, but we can definitely work with that. Rarely, but you might find yourself using the volume here. I don't think so. It might be useful, especially for the briefs. This is the sound that so we can, for example, choose the cut mode, hover around the cuts that you want to delete, hold control and click right on the cut. And now we can make a cut holding alt just on the brief and now take the guy back down and take the volume of this guy down by taking the volume here like this or without the advanced mode, you can simply hold alt and scroll down to make it inaudible. Routine. This is the sound that I made routine. This is the sound that I'm Maybe that's something you would like to make. I don't think I really want to do it here. I would prefer do it with volume automation, basically. And next, a little bit more advanced feature of Newton would be about fixing the timing of your vocal. It's very, very handy and powerful. If you mark everything and hit quantize time. Lean in the pack and you know I'm the guy. I'm the man the day I ride. It sucks. <laughs> You never want to quantize time. What you would like to do instead is hover your mouse around the edge of the clip of the note and holding alt, take it left or right. I'm the guy, I've been the man since the day I arrived. I never play if I'm true for the guy, I've been the man since the day I arrived. 
This vocal is already correctly sung, so there's pretty much no need for me to adjust this. If you want to make over your rights a little bit different, you can cut it and extend this. Over your rights, he with a mission you hear in this go over your rights. If it needs to be adjusted like this. So after you know that you can do stuff like this, next you will have in the advanced settings those four guys. And now you can see that it will just extend and like make a portamento effect leading into the next note. Fancy the day I arrived. I never play a fine true day I arrived. Pretty obvious thing as you can see this line here going down. Arrived. I never play a fine true for It's pretty much the transition mode but manual. I never play a fine true it's very very handy if you want to make some of the notes a little bit less transition-y. There are many more hidden knobs in here. If you hover your mouse around those two arrows, you can actually change the format shift of it. Guy, hop in the Go down. Guy, hop in the Go down. Guy, hop in now, this is super handy, especially if you mark everything and now go down with the format shift. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy, hop in the mess of the day I rock. Oh man. So masculine and now we can make it a little bit more lean in the pack and you know i'm the guy i've been a mess of the day i rock you can make kind of whisper effect with that thing and layer it over the original vocal which would definitely create some cool effects but oh my god, oh my god. there's more let's say you have a sustained note like this you mark it and take the variation of all of them down and let's say i also want no variation so we have like very robotic effect. And now in the rock, paper, scissors again, you have the advanced edit vibrato. And that will bring a little bit different effects here. You will be able to add vibrato kind of effects. It will definitely not work on our vocals though, but we can set the frequency with the blue line. Now you can also increase the starting amplitude, which I think you would not like to do. And then you can also increase the amplitude basically. So we would like something like this, let's say. I feel like in opera already. Lean in the How far can we go? <laughs> so that's Neutron. And now after you're happy with the result, if you have the full version, you can simply drag and drop it into your playlist. And if you just have the trial version, which comes with the producer edition, I don't know. I uh, If there only was a way to like record something inside of Elf Studio, I don't know, like let me know in the comments if you know any tool that can like record something inside of Elf Studio. And then, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to like suggest anything. So that's what we started with. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a man since the day I arrived. I never play a fight. And that's what we have now. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a man since the day I arrived. Let's just quickly run it through our vocal mixing presets. Lean in the pack and they know I'm the guy. I've been a man since the day I arrived. I never play a fine truth in the lies. You wanna win me? Go over your right. By the way, if you haven't checked our vocal mixing preset pack yet, you have over 50 fully customizable drag and drop mixer presets for any type of vocals, ad libs, harmonies, and many more. It also comes in our full bundle where you get access to all of our presets, samples, courses, including mixing course, where we mix everything you heard today from complete scratch. It's a steal, link in the description. And now in the mix together with the harmony vocals. Super cool vocal presets, you need to check this pack out. And you need to remember that you can also export the whole MIDI you made by clicking copy to MIDI clipboard, and now it will show up in your channel rack. What you can do with this, especially if you have some singing house vocals, you can open your favorite synth so you can have your synth going together with the vocals, making a layer to it and make it much, much more powerful and exciting. To not bulk this video up, next week we're going to release how to make this kind of vocal harmonies. So make sure to subscribe, hit a like if you enjoyed this video, share it with your producer friend if you think it's helpful. And of course, don't forget to leave your next topic idea in the comments below. My name is Max and I see you in the next video. Dream these rappers like pieces and pieces. I've been a problem since I was a fetus. Earning my stripes like I work for Adidas. Elite in my league, better follow the leader. Hit him with a venom independent when I'm in it, gotta finish it.